Well, hello, Aries. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the last week of October 2019 reading. Uh, first, I'm going to lay out the cards for career and finance, and we'll look at the grounding foundation energies in the area of creativity and or health. And then, last but not least, we're going to bring the energies of love and romance in. Okay, so this energy will be available to whichever uh, Aries I'm reading for, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, during this general reading. Should these messages resonate for you and you'd like a personal reading, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading. And the price lists will be in the box below. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So, again, these energies are available through Monday the 28th to around Sunday the 3rd of November 2019. Dear Lord Spirit, guys and angels, please bless whichever areas we're reading for with career and finance messages. Okay, we had, wow, three jumps. So, Aries, you are being given the Queen of Wands energy. So, this is the energy of setting goals and meeting goals and getting excited about future goals and intentions. In the beginning of the week, we have a, a strong desire here to hop, skip, and jump into a new direction. <clears throat> but this is, as a major arcana, uh, a way for spirit to help you to kind of plan forward movement as you continue to set goals and meet goals day to day throughout the week. Oh, look at this. By the end of the week, going into the weekend, we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful Aries. So we have serenity, peace, joy, happiness, a happily ever after energy. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, this is the Osha Zen Tarot. And in a three-card summary to my right, we have the High Priestess. And spirit saying some form of communication, kind words, messages are going to come Aries way around maybe the 28th to the 30th. Yes, of October 2019. The high priestess is spirit's way of saying we are going to bring you signs and synchronicities as to the truth of what is being communicated. Now, instantly, we have an Aries that goes into the energies of guilt with the Eight of Swords energies. Remember, you are not stuck or trapped. You can take your mind, body, and soul into any direction you so choose because we have that freedom here on Earth. Some may be feeling guilty because of situation at a distance with the major arcana of the world and or. Some Aries are recognizing that Spirit's giving you the strength to bring a situation to a completion. Full circle, so you can step into the path of your truth, a path of victory with the gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Swords. So it is indeed a weak Aries to cut away from what does not serve you, to focus on your stability and your security, to bloom into who you were meant to be. So they're saying focus on career and finance this week. Give a hundred percent because with the five of wands energies, this is about feeling as though somebody is not giving you all that you deserve. And with the page of cups energies, uh, we have, oh, I'm sorry, knight of cups. Trust in spirit that more is yet to come. Okay. So it's a time of planning for sure during the week. Laying down with the sword, uh, the knight of swords, energies, this protect and defend energy to be open to the opportunities. So it could be around Wednesday through Friday for some Aries where you get an offer or an opportunity to step into a new direction. And you're receiving communication in the area of cups. So emotional, excitement, happiness, good communication. So here you are listening to your intuition in the second half of this week of the 28th of October 2019. You've got the major arcana of the Empress. 
So Spirit's helping for you to give birth to that which you are recognizing through your intuition. That as you let go emotionally from any energies or behaviors or anything that was unhealthy in the past, you will indeed come into an opportunity to celebrate in the area of money. So by the end of the week, going into the weekend, we have a, uh, an Aries who is being guided to kind of turn inward to rest and rejuvenate. For some, maybe still comparing either an old situation to their current circumstances or a new offer to their current circumstances, however that applies to you. Yeah, trying to get to the truth of the situation regarding maybe someone who has uh, Pisces in their chart with the moon energy wanting to go quickly towards finding clarity. Somebody comes towards you who's in a leadership position, someone who is a very clear and decisive, who um, is offering a wish come true with the Nine of Cups energies. And here, this Aries starts to feel the energies of the Queen of Swords. So Aries, um, there's indecision. With the Two of Swords here, Schizophrenia, and they're giving you the strength of the Queen of Swords to set goals and meet goals, to make a decision. Is this moral or immoral? For someone may come towards you and tempt you. Someone may be tied to your past or your childhood, and instantly we have the Seven of Swords representing self-destruction. Somebody may offer you something, but there's more to you, right? Maybe you're tired of being one of the sheep in the flock, however they say that. And again, Spirit's giving you the major arcana, the chariot, to burn away from the past, those unhealthy thoughts, feelings, emotions, and to start to recognize the path of success. And they're saying success that is coming your way from Spirit is what I'm feeling, is freeing you from the burden of stress. You're going to shine like the sun because the, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. So this is for those Aries who may have gone through some form of temptation. And now they're, they're I almost said settling, but they're, they're like recognizing that they got it going on. That they're maybe just a little bit tired or when someone comes towards you, Aries, someone who um, creates... Someone who has earth in his, I'm sorry, fire in his chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. We have an Aries who may just be feeling exhausted in connection to a boss, a co-worker, or someone in a leadership position or wanting to be in a leadership position because they're exhausted. They put a lot of energy into this journey in the area of career and finance. And Spirit's advice is to go with the flow. We want to give you this Ace of Cups energy, this overflowing cup of abundance, joy, and happiness. We want to help you to make your wishes come true with the Ten of Cups here and contentment and stability when it comes to the celebration of home or business when it comes to others. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and you're going to shine like the sun. So you may be just questioning your circumstances. So let's look at the foundation for this Aries during this week of October 28th, 2019 reading Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides and Angels, Aries. Okay, so we have something happening very quickly for some. Wow. Okay, so we have the Eight of Spheres or Wands. So in the very beginning, maybe even Monday, Tuesday, the 28th or 29th of October 2019, Aries, you have someone or something coming towards you very quickly and or unexpectedly. Someone who is a creator, someone who gets things done, someone who... um is a boss or a mentor. They seem to be a strong connection with you. Could be another fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo like yourself, but something is coming very quickly here. It could be that an, a boss is making an offer to, for you to climb into a higher position or you connect with someone if you've been looking for a job. Okay, so also in the foundation by Wednesday, Thursday, What's that? That's around the 23rd or 24th. You have the major arcana of the Empress. So big things are happening for whichever Aries this is. And thank you for those of you who let me know that these are indeed your energies or messages. 
Know that you have the major arcana of the Empress, the ability to give birth to a new direction. So spirit is helping. They're watching the steps you are taking. They're listening to the prayers you are making, and they are helping for you to give birth to this happily ever after Ten of Cups energies. But see, look at this. By the end of the week, going into the weekend, and this could be just home is what I'm feeling. Like there's a lot of stuff you need to get done. You feel like there's too much going on or you're afraid to move into a new direction because everyone may come at you. But see, you've risen above here. And the, there's a doorway right behind you. So you could very fairly, justly, kindly, and excitedly say I'm moving towards what I truly want in my life. I'm giving birth to this new path. And spirit is helping me. For as I set goals and meet goals this week, something's going to happen very quickly and or unexpectedly. And I'm going to be researching how to push beyond the seven of spears energies, a battle, a worry, a fear, concerns maybe regarding home or business here. All right, so let's go ahead and look into the love area for this particular Aries. Could be for others. Some messages may apply, but this is a general reading, so I'm covering a lot of people. If you'd like a personal reading, again, you can email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. This is the Romance Angel deck by Dorian Virtue. This last deck down here is the Game of Thrones deck, which I love. All right, so Monday, Tuesday, we're looking at the 28th, 29th, maybe even the 30th of October 2019. We have an Aries who is indeed being guided to work on a partnership. Now, if you're in a relationship, of course, it's time to enhance that relationship. Maybe somebody's going to come towards you and and want to move forward and give birth to a happily ever after with you. And you find this out in the beginning of the week, and Spirit's advice is give the relationship a chance. Now, if this is about coming into partnership with someone in the area of career and finance, give the relationship a chance. That doesn't mean you need to give away your mind, body, or, and soul to another, but it is a, a way to be patient and kind and build a solid foundation with another. So there's a lot of thinking about all that in the beginning of the week. Now, from Wednesday to Friday of the week of October 28th, 2019, we have playfulness. And so Spirit's saying to recapture romance in your life, allow your playful energy and fun to shine. What is it you want to give birth to? When it comes to a new direction, it's almost like you were manifesting something and now you can hop, skip, and jump. Communication comes forward and you feel very playful and now you're thinking about what it is you want to give birth to next. So the advice here, Aries, is to keep an open mind. For your soulmate may be different than you expect. For some of you, if you're single, as you're working on career and finances, as you connect maybe with and to and through groups of people. With the Empress energy, I notice she's on a ship. This could be about traveling and getting together with another by the end of the week or others. And contemplating, should I take up a new opportunity? And Spirit's saying, just keep an open mind. Or yes, some of you by the weekend are going to receive a lot of attention and recognition. Let's do a, a, a three card spread for clarification to my left. Yeah, they're saying free your mind from whatever has been making you feel backed into a corner for some. It's time to take back control of your life to understand that you deserve real love. You are lovable. So even though there may be a strong magnetic attraction, make sure you're building it on a solid foundation. Retreat and think about. I feel like think about forward movement, but I'm really feeling over here a lot like take your time, give it a chance, remain playful, think about what you want to give birth to, but give something some time. Because eventually here, I do feel like there's some 
who are going to reconcile. They're going to come into connection with someone. Again, maybe someone who has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo, like themselves. And they're thinking about, should I or shouldn't I come together with this energy? Are you wearing a false mask or are they? They're also saying, remember, as you focus on what fulfills you day to day with the Queen of Wands energies, as you set goals and meet goals and maintain excitement in your own personal journey, as you focus on finance and career, you're going to give off a very bright aura, which is going to attract others to you this week. So by the end of the week, see someone maybe traveling to connect with a group of people. Um, someone may be coming towards you. You may be coming towards them. Someone may be traveling and you get to decide what you want to give birth to. But Spirit's advice is to keep this light if you are single. Okay. For partners, I do feel like uh, it's time for a honeymoon. It's time to get things back going again so you can maybe start a new journey. After maybe the kids have moved out or the sale of a house, a new location, traveling together. Great love is worth feeling. And I really feel like uh, a spiritual advice here for this Aries is to really open up your heart to what can be and don't overthink if you can. Because divine timing here is here. Some of you may want a commitment to raise to a higher level. But there is someone at a distance. The advice here, again, by the weekend is remain optimistic. Positive thinking will help you to decide, is this indeed a soulmate connection? Pay attention to the red flags when it comes to your own perception. Perception. <laughs> what do you want? Some Saggies may be focused on a past connection. Therefore, you're fearful of do I stay or do I go with the Seven of Wands? Or the, yeah, Seven of Wands. So let's bring in some spiritual guidance by pulling one card from the Heal Yourself deck by Ina Segal. Give your relationship a chance, recapture romance, be playful. What are you giving birth to next? What are you setting goals to accomplish? Keep an open mind. Because sometimes those whom we want in our thoughts are different than what we expected. And spirit really wants to guide this Aries into a happily ever after energy. Yeah. So see, we have an Aries who I feel could have recognized a previous test. A test is someone who comes in. And we learn about ourselves through that connection, and then we have the strength to pull away and move on. So this is a Phoenix Rising energy here this week for this Aries. And the advice is to step away from whatever isn't working. Is it negative thinking? Is it not opening your heart? Is it an unhealthy connection? Or for some of you, Spirit saying, how teachable are you? Have you rid yourself of energies of self-sabotage? Because you are receiving uh, assistance from spirit. Your prayers have been heard. And all you have to do is free yourself from energies of victim consciousness. Don't blame others for that which has transpired, but look at how you grew and who you are today. Okay, and I'm going to, you know, I'm being guided to pull one more card in. This is the um, Archangel Michael deck by Doreen Virtue. I feel like we need just a quick word of prayer. Wishes can definitely come true in the area of what you're working on, and an offer could come for sure this week for some. Okay, so look at this. Your advice and your prayer for the week is honor and trust your gut feelings right behind that this is indeed your life's purpose so if you're working on something you're starting your own business you're marketing a product you are doing what you were meant to do at this time you will eventually for some walk away into the happily ever after energy in the area of money and career or you're going to recognize uh, that you want to stay that could be in the area of love as well so it's going to depend on each person and their own personal energy so to close, the prayer says, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon what I truly feel. Help me to understand and to express my emotions with love. 
Remember, love is patience and kindness. And again, I see focus on your life's purpose. Okay, so that is your guidance for the week. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Thank you to those of you who have come to me for month-to-month readings. For those of you especially who have donated to keep my channel up and running, thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.